Hey folks, Jay Barino here, continuing the Bob Levels, a custom campaign for StarCraft 1. Playing the third set of levels, map 3, to moon a cerebrate. <laughs> the time has come for Aaron to launch his invasion of Bobby's world, oh no! Let's go moon that cerebrate, let's do it. Sir, the Zerg and our alliance have just done a most despicable thing. You'd better punish them, or else. Don't pay any attention to him, he overreacts to everything. Look, I don't have time for this, we're about to launch our attack on Bob. But they infested one of our command centers. It needed a little redecoration anyway. You infested all of the men who were inside it, too. It's really not so bad once you get used to it. <laughs> Enough! We're going to set up the Mega Blaster on a moon orbiting Bob's planet. Now, who's going to join in the initial attack? The mighty Protoss pledged their support in this battle. The Zerg will help too, of course, but I bet the Terrans will be too scared to. First you infest us, then you insult us. We will join the battle, but if any of you Zerg dare come near us, you will meet the same fate as the Good Guys Alliance. Ah, Terran and Zerg, get down there and begin to set up your bases. I'll discuss our plans further with the Protoss. The Zerg will pay for this outrage. Perhaps we should delay the attack until our own affairs are in order. We can't. There's a lot of solar flare activity right now that will block off Bob's communication with the Zerg on his moon. We need to be able to set up the Mega Blaster before he knows what's happening. So we must attack with divided forces. Very risky. I'd better overlook this mission myself. I'll come with your troops and a retrofitted Goliath along with an SCV to repair it. There's something on the surface which is essential that we retrieve. What is it? For the Mega Blaster to hit Bob's world from the moon, we'll need to increase its range. Luckily, there's a Kadaran crystal on the moon that, can, that we can use to amplify the beam. If you just need a Kadaran crystal, why not use a pylon? They're all made of Kadaran crystals. Uh, I don't know. It's the same reason the Overmind couldn't use the pylons, I guess. Anyway, we have one other task to complete. Jack has no right to threaten me. He must pay. Understood. Okay, bring Aaron to the Callus Crystal, kill Jack. Aaron must survive. We'll see what, what leaving Jack alive for a certain amount of time might lead to. Who knows? Maybe he'll actually be hostile for whatever reason. Well, for today's after brief, briefing speaker, we've had, we have none other than Bill Nye the Science Guy, who was chosen, who was chosen due to the ex educational content of his presentation. Take it away, Bill. Thank you, Bob. Today I'm going to be talking about gas. First up is Vespine gas. Here we have pictures of various Vespine containers. Vespine gas is needed for the construction of any advanced units or buildings, as well as all upgrades. But Vespine isn't the only gas in the universe. For example, if you eat a lot of beans... I think that's enough for today. Thank you, Bill, for that uh, fascinating report. Now, go play the campaign. Okay, let's do it. Ha! Huh, fart jokes! Let's go. Playing as the Protoss here. There's our retrofitted Goliath with Aaron in it, theoretically. He's 333. It's quite nice that we have an SCV. It can only repair as expected. Let's start making some probes. So, I've decided to start recording this sort of late into the night when I'm a little tired, and I don't know why. Uh, I have a feeling that's going to turn out to be a poor decision. You know, I could probably circumvent that by making mass carriers or something. <laughs> Assuming we survive long enough, uh, the third Bob levels clearly are much more challenging than the predecessors, so we'll see how this goes. It might be terrible. I don't know. I just don't know. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully we don't have too much of a problem. So what do we got going on here? We have Zerg allies, which we don't need, we don't want interfering with purple. There's Jack and he's got a medic too. So we gotta get down there and try to kill him. He has five armor and he does 60 damage. So he's actually gonna, he's actually gonna do some major damage to us if we just try to sneak some delets, zealots down there. We have vision on the old guy. That's kind of strange. Maybe near the end of the map, I'll just use a vision sheet because apparently there's just some goofy Easter eggs I'm missing out on because they're just all over the map. And these maps are larger, so I'd rather just use the cheat and see them so that everyone can can check them out. What are we up against, though, is my question. And how is Aaron? He has six armor. I, he's basically an Alan Shezer clone, I believe. I don't know if Alan Shezer had three base armor, but either way, he probably did. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our cybernetics core. Oh, it is 200. I'm like, I thought I had 200 minerals. 
Okay, great. Probably want to start getting some zealots out here soon enough. I need to get some I need to get some units pretty much as soon as possible. We started with virtually nothing on this map. We just have Aaron right now. Hey, look at that! Good work! Good work, Zerg allies. We'll see if the, the Terran do this as well. I'm kind of concerned if I kill Jack, then the Terran... Maybe that just means that we don't have anything to worry about, and the Terran won't go hostile later. Maybe it's more of a time constraint, where if you don't kill him fast enough, then the Terran will eventually go hostile to us, which would be really unfortunate. The nice thing is that we have allies on this map, so they'll continue to peck away at the enemy, if nothing else. You know, it's not a big deal, but maybe... <laughs> maybe that'll help in some long-term fashion. Just keep getting this all set up. I could use Aaron to kind of look around and see what we've got on this map, make our way down towards Aaron. We could probably kill Aaron with... Not Aaron, Jack. We could probably kill Jack with Aaron, because the ghost, his ghost model isn't going to do a lot of damage to, to Aaron. Let's just move down in this direction and see where we end up. Actually, I'm going to save before he runs into a bunch of enemies. So this is map four, is that right? I don't know. Looks like there's an expansion we can take right down there. I might want to go and grab that sooner rather than later. Get him, Aaron. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep going down here. Looks like an enemy base. Oh, let's keep an eye on this. What are they building here? Another hatchery. This base seems relatively small. I wonder if I could just get some units and try to go down there and kill it really fast. I'm glad I went down in that direction. I also want to go and take that other base really quickly. There we go. The fact that these enemies aren't sending a butt-ton of units out to defend themselves is a big deal, actually. Let's see if we can just use Aaron to kill this uh, sunken colony. He's going to take some major... Oh, wow, he's taking a lot of damage. I take it back. Okay, let's just go behind the mineral line. We'll get some zealots down in this direction here pretty soon. Let's grab a singularity charge. A singularity charge. One singularity charge, please. One singularity charge upgrade. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more pylons, and then we'll set up some defense. Wow, I actually think that this base started out with virtually nothing. I mean, they may be building... They may be building Zerglings here, which is kind of scary. As long as I sit in the mineral lines, they won't be able to really do anything. That sunken... or that Yeah, the sunken colony is the only thing I really have to worry about. Yeah, they're making drones. Wow. Uh, I'll take it. This is great. This could not have been better, actually. I just have to keep making units. I keep kind of going down there to keep an eye out to make sure that he doesn't run into that sunken colony. We can also take that base soon enough. I feel like I'm sort of cheating here, but after playing through that previous map, that, um, which one was it? Uh, don't feed the animals? After playing through that, I actually feel, uh, Pretty comfortable doing something like this and like semi circumventing part of the challenge of the map. I've, I've seen this in other maps. I think I actually saw this in like Insurrection Retribution. Is that the map makers for those, and I'm not comparing this to those maps. Those maps were terrible. These are just plain old fun. Um, the map makers would uh, set like an insane level AI or a very hard or whatever it was for, for StarCraft 1, and they would start them with virtually nothing, but they were set to the hardest difficulty. So the idea was you had an opportunity to kill them early. I mean, I don't think you were supposed to, but it was supposed to allow you to get built up at the same rate as the enemy. So that's that's something, I guess. Let's get a second cyber core so we can get our double upgrades over there. Have not been attacked for a while. I'm just going to keep making pylons, give myself some space as we get get going here. Keep making probes with the anticipation of going and taking some, some uh, extra bases. Not been attacked yet, though, which is concerning. Yeah, I think Blue's out of money. We just gotta get down there. We'll bring these units and go and destroy that sunken colony. And then we'll go down and repair Aaron as well. I probably should set up a couple cannons and or shield batteries just in case. And I would like to go and find another... Well, I, I know that there's two bases I can take now. So that's good. Let's go ahead and lead with the Zealots. One sunken colony will not be able to stand up to this. Let them attack. Let it attack the zealots first. Awesome. Okay. And then this stuff, just do your attack. Let's grab my SCV. Please don't die as you're going down here. I'm actually going to save. I don't want to risk losing that SCV. But I just want to go down, have it go down there and start repairing this stuff up. Let's see. A lot of anti-air here, probably specifically because of a mass carrier option. If you have enough carriers, that just won't matter. 
we will demonstrate that. Maybe we'll get some Arbiters as well, just for fun. Let's just keep setting up a few of these cannons. We don't need too many. Let's grab a Citadel. Did I make the Fleet Beacon? I don't think I did. Fleet Beacon, well, we don't have enough money. Let's actually go ahead and start Shields. Let's go ahead and start Shields, I said. And there we go. And maybe I'll go down once he's repaired up and go and try to kill Aaron. Again, I wanted, I really want to do that as soon as possible because I don't want that to become an issue. My units are, or my, my allies are poising to go in and attack, which is awesome. I don't know if I'll have enough to kill Jack. He does 60 damage again. I think that, that's, that it's baked into his... The fact that he's a ghost, that he does extra versus small. I don't think he has an opportunity to ever do more against different unit types. I'm pretty sure. We'll go down here, though, just in case. We'll kill his medic, and then we'll kill him. I'll save again, because I don't really want to risk it. But let's head on over here and take this base. Then we'll take this base. This is a nice one, actually. We'll see what this one's all about. Maybe there's an enemy base in here, and I just don't know what it is. Because there's enemy Zerg here. Theoretically, Bob, right? But I don't know what else uh, we might be up against. I don't know if we're dealing with Jimmy or not. Okay, so let's swing on down here. Where's Jack? He's kind of in a bad spot, honestly, these Terran buildings. I, uh, I'll save one more time because I'm really nervous all this stuff will go hostile, at which point I probably don't even want to kill Jack. All right, get the Zealots in first. He's going to, yeah, he's going to kill the Zealots really fast. My units are trying to get over here to do some damage. Don't think it'll be so easy to take me down, Aaron. My men will stand by me to the bitter end. Are you crazy? He'd kill us. We're not getting involved in this. <laughs> Crud. Well, I'll still be tough as I've magically become st much stronger than I was back when you controlled, controlled me. Okay, yeah, but see, he's doing pathetic damage against uh, against Jack. Or, uh, duh, I'm getting them confused. Against Aaron. So, this is what I expected. Like I said, he's a ghost. Hey, guys, they killed Jack. Cool, I guess that means we can stop fighting the Zerg and the Bad Guys Alliance. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. One less thing we have to worry about. Four mineral patches. Nah. Let's come on down here and take this. I assume the creep will be gone by now. Did I ever get that creep to recede? There's a lot of, like, small things going on on this map that's uh, hard to keep track of everything. Creep still hasn't completely receded. Looks like there's a base down here we can take. We know that the old guy's down here. Can we just walk to him? Let's just walk to him and see if we can get down there with a single zealot. Alright, upgrades are coming up. We've got the fleet beacon. The enemy just isn't attacking me at this point, so let's just start working on getting those carriers up. And we want to—we need another base so that we can pump those carriers out really fast. Basically, we're not going to get many combat units until the very, very end. Okay, and there's red zerg somewhere too. We know there's white zerg. Re there is red zerg somewhere. Let's see if our zealot can make it down there or not. Looks like this is... Yeah, it's blocked off. Well, in that case, it's probably good that I'm just going to make... Make air units. Let's go ahead and keep doing, going with our upgrades here. Can start plus two shields pretty soon. Carrier capacity. Plasma shields. Keep mine in here. I'm excited for this base to complete, though we will need some defense. Some defense somewhere. That's kind of like nothing. I guess we could take this one. I mean, it'll pay for itself in a reasonable amount of time. I'm not really sure. These minerals are all probably about halfway gone. So I think we're going to start moving over to the right side of the map here pretty soon. We can start pumping out carriers as well. The sooner we can do that, the more comfortable I'll feel because we can use them to defend ourselves as well. Once this nexus is done, we've got a nice base here, though. That'll be good. Nice work, allies. Just, uh, you know, they'll just whittle away at at white. I'm absolutely fine with that. Okay, shields level two. Air level two coming up, so we can start getting carriers now. Go ahead, Aaron's getting repaired. Let's go ahead and grab an assimilator and then start making probes. This is going pretty well so far, so let's go ahead and throw down a save. I'm waiting for just, like, a really large enemy attack to come out of nowhere and attack me. As long as these two carriers finish before then, we should be fine. Scourge scare me, but with enough carriers again, we should be fine. Okay, so, Aaron, you can just kind of stay back here. So don't we, we don't have to use too much money to repair you. 
It's certainly very tempting to just take this. I think I will. Let's just make the Nexus. We'll, we'll use it, right? We'll use it. We gotta scout out more of the map as well. I can make a, a Corsair to go down there and, uh, and grab the old guy. It's weird that we can see him. Again, that might mean that there's another one on this map. People were talking about maybe there being two old guys on uh, the first map. On the first map of uh, the third Bob Levels. Just because there were two on the score screen. I actually never went back and checked, but I probably should. Okay, now they're sending some air units at us, which means we're probably going to start seeing Guardians, maybe. They've, they've seemed to have become aware of our presence. They circumvented this base, though. Let's keep making probes here. Don't stop making probes here. I think, in the long run, gas is going to be our major concern, so let's saturate this gas. I might transfer some probes. Nah, you know, we'll leave those. That's fine. Carriers, come on now. You're almost there. Okay, and then we'll start plus three as well. There's the carriers. we got to start making interceptors on those right away. Queue up the first five. All right, Aaron, you just sit in the back like usual. Okay, here comes a large attack. Here comes a very large attack. Again, this is sort of what I expected. <laughs> this is almost exactly what I expected. Let's move up with Aaron. We've got our interceptors. Uh, it seems like they're circumventing me. No, they're not. Okay, back up just a little bit, buddy. As long as Aaron stays sort of in the back and lives. Okay, we don't have enough interceptors at this point. Aaron will get smoked by Mutilus, so we do have to move him back a little bit. Okay, we will certainly survive this. Not too much of a problem, but now we know what we're dealing with. Wherever the red base is, it's probably to the right, is what I want to go for here, for sure. Let's get some probes, and I assume they're coming from the right because they left these bases alone. It's very, very important. Okay, now we're short on money. Minerals. Um, but again, we can we can get more minerals pretty quick. What we need is gas. Okay, those are coming out. I'm gonna need more gas to finish up my upgrades as well. Let's at least get air weapons. Let's at least get air weapons, and we could probably get in another Stargate because we'll be able to, we'll be able to afford this stuff eventually. Just right now we can't. But as as we get this saturated, as we get this saturated. We'll be in really good shape. I'm actually spending a lot of supply pretty much just on probes right now, which is a mistake. This is going to be mined out, and then we'll just have a bunch of probes doing nothing because my other base is already saturated. Let's just go and find the red base and kill it. Okay, we have an attack down here. Let's go and try to save this. A single white hydralisk. I suppose my concern now is that there are random enemy bases, or there's going to be random enemy spawns just all over the place, and just be really irritating. So, let's just set up a few cannons. So we have white attacking us in the air, there's yellow sending some stuff over here as well. Now we have Scourge coming at us. Okay, we killed it just in time. There we go. And then we need cannons in this area. So they have, uh, Devourers as well. I had to click on that because I forgot what that unit even was. What that unit even was. Okay, so let's set up those cannons. Um, based on that last attack, that should be enough for now. For now. Okay, you guys all get mining. I could definitely use more money. Maybe I'll come down and take this weird mineral patch as well. There's def there's a lot of this map that I haven't I haven't looked at yet. So there's a, a lot of opportunities. That's for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and get shields level whatever. That costs a shit ton of money. Let's just go ahead and finish up these upgrades. Got a few more pylons, and just because I want that to be a nice little square, let's go ahead and do that. Aaron can stay here and move him back consistently. Okay, now we have four carriers. That's probably enough to annihilate our way through most bases, but... The Bob Levels is not like most maps, as you can imagine. I really wish that my teammates would do... Really anything else. I feel like the Zerg haven't gone and attacked for a long time. They've even got uh, an infested command center. Let's see you do something, buddy. Let's see you send itself out. Look, look at how effective my Terran counterpart is being. Well, no, no, he's not really effective at all. These attacks that they're sending are terrible. They're probably set to like a really shitty AI level, I can only assume. Okay, this is starting to get mined out, so let's transfer some of these probes. I'll go ahead and set up a couple cannons here. Now we've got the money coming in. So let's get three more carriers. 
Get the interceptors. And then we'll get just a couple cannons here. Maybe like three. Just to protect us from those random mutalisk attacks and things like that. This should be good. Got the probes coming down. Let's go ahead and move these units up here. Those red attacks are the only things that sort of worry me. Just a little bit. I think I'll wait for 333. Wait for these extra carriers. We'll have enough money after that that we could get even more. How's this gas doing? Almost gone, but this one's looking real nice. I'm glad I took this blue base out pretty early. I think that was pretty important. Okay, here goes orange. Ah, okay, the fact that orange is even moving in this direction to me means the red base is probably up here because the AI in StarCraft, if you didn't know, cheats. <laughs> Blatantly cheats for a multitude of reasons. They, uh, they do quite like... Oh, they have a defiler mount. I gotta be careful of that. Uh, the AI does quite like to just know exactly where you are at all times. So if you take a hidden base that they've never had any vision on ever from any of their, their units, they just know. They'll just know right away. That's my only kind of gripe. I don't mind if you give them infinite resources. I really don't. Uh, except in the case of fucking Reavers. Fuck you, Reavers. But there are none of those on this map. Um, it's, it's really just the fact that if you take a base, they know exactly where it is immediately. Which I think is sort of silly. Uh, let's come on down here and take this base. I really wish you could shift Q buildings with probes. But I suppose that doesn't make too much sense. Okay, now they're coming down here. Yeah, come into my cannons, you jerks. My cannons also are affected by my plus three shields that are just about done, so that'll be nice. Okay, and Arbiter Tribunal is... I almost feel like Arbiters are pretty worthless against, uh... Against Zerg, because Overlords are all detectors. I mean, I'll go ahead and get the Templar Archive so I can make my way towards them, but... Don't see much of a point. Okay. Oddly enough, the Terrans seem to be coming to... I don't know, do something. Let's go ahead and set this up. White might be coming to attack me down here. There's a defiler that may be burrowed. That's annoying. Uh, okay, so we need a robo facility because we need observers. I didn't think about this. There's gonna be lurkers in these bases too. Well, crap. We're gonna be, we're behind schedule now because of that. I guess that just means we can get more carriers, right? So let's go ahead and get more pylons. More pylons. Just spend that cash. Might as well at this point. Nice. Okay, so now we're at plus three in the air completely. And I think I need an observer because, again, I think that there's a defiler over here. We should get some more cannons set up to block this bridge. Okay. It's kind of hard on the Shakura's tile set to see where your pylon power is. Like right here. Kind of hard. Oh, God. Okay, so now we need to come on down here. So Red decided to circumvent everything and come down in this direction. Uh, I, who knows? Who knows what the deal is with that? So we're definitely going to kill Red next because they seem to have... <laughs> we're going to kill Red... That sounded terrible. Red next. We're killing Red next. Uh, yes, because they are just annoying me. And they have the largest attacks, and I would like to be rid of them. We're gonna get down here probably in time to save this Nexus, no promises. As long as they keep distracting themselves with my probes, but I would really like to hang on to this base. Okay, we are 3-3-3, though. Which is a dream. Red is going to die right after this. Let's rebuild some of those probes. I guess we need more cannons here. What was attacking me over here? Possibly. It's possible that I found a defiler and it just decided to pop out. So let's come on over here. And my, my cannon spotted it or something and decided to pop out and try to attack. I don't know. Hit my cannons with uh, plague again. I don't see it though, so I don't know what that was. Okay, so let's build more interceptors. Okay, seriously, yellow, you can seriously fuck off. Get out of here with those scourge. Ah. Uh... Fucking bitch. <laughs> That's about what I expected. That's what I get for not having my observer either. Where's my stupid probes? Okay. Observatory. Okay, so what that means is we're going to make a shield battery farm here. And I guess we're not going to go and attack yet. Okay, but really, 
Where's, where's Yellow getting all these units from? I'm not sure if they were just pre-placed or what. So we've got a bunch of carriers that are low on everything, so we gotta wait for some shield batteries. I really like the, the Duracell battery. Okay, no problem. It's like they know that I have air units, so they're just gonna keep sending this stuff. Get out of there. Yeah, fly over my cannons, that's fine with me. Okay, cool. And I really want to go and attack Red soon, because this is just going to keep happening. Okay. I think, I think I'm back to full shields, so let's go ahead and hotkey these and move up in this direction. Let's go ahead and make more carriers. Grab this. This random Zerglings coming in really doesn't concern me. And I have more defense behind all this stuff. I just don't want another Defiler to sneak through. We just killed two to three Defilers. They're probably rebuilding them, but they may not have the money, or the, the energy, if they're just rebuilding them now, to, uh, to plague us when we go and attack them again. Again, as long as I'm at full shields, we're okay. Still don't have that Observer. What am I doing? Make those Observers, rally them up up here. Lots and lots of ensnare. Quite annoying. They seem distracted and, atta and are attacking me down here. I'm okay with that. They also have an infested command center here. Yeah, kill the Ultralisk Cavern. All right, AI. What are you doing? I don't know what my carriers are doing here. Why are they not attacking the... Th I mean, I, I'm not... To be fair, I'm not sending them to attack what they should be. I'm just auto-attacking, which is fine, because I'm not even losing interceptors. I have no idea what they're not attacking the static defense. Maybe it's because the carriers themselves aren't threatened, it's because the interceptors are threatened and the carriers aren't in range. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, okay, that just happened. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to take this base soon. We've got three more carriers coming up, which should be enough to complete this. Hopefully. Can never be too sure. Got plagued again. I mean, all of our carries are already pretty low anyway, so... as long I mean, if they don't have any damage-dealing units here, the plague doesn't really concern me. There's the Observer. Where's my Observatory? The there it is. The uh, Sight Range. Grab my healthy carriers, make some more Interceptors. The white attack decided to come up in this direction. I suppose white is the next to go in my reign of, uh, of my reign of terror. Okay, keep making those interceptors. And again, with the amount of overlords and spore colonies, I really don't think it would matter if I decided to... I just don't think it would matter if I decided to do something uh, out of the ordinary with arbiters. I just don't. I just don't think it would matter. That really. I don't know what I mean by out of the ordinary. If I decided to make arbiters, it's out of the ordinary for me because I rarely make them. Um, they would be. Oh, good. We just killed a bunch of uh, defilers. We'll go back down and grab my uh, my shield pile or my shield uh, battery farm, which is actually mostly destroyed. That's cool. This base still has a lot of resources at it, so I think I'm going to take this because we're virtually out of gas as well. Is this depleted? It is. We left this enemy base alive a little too long, I think. It's possible Red has another base. I don't know. Okay, so let's attack up here and then attack down here. We'll grab the old guy, swing up, destroy white. Man, I don't know what my allies are doing, but they are just awful, aren't they? Okay. Oh, we have this base set up. I forgot about this. We really need the gas here. It's not quite depleted, so that's what we need to do next. What's going on over here? That seems like a weird base, but it's also right in the middle of the enemy base, so I can't really afford to do anything with it. Okay, let's have my observers follow. Let's get Gravitic Boosters. Pretty nice base up in the upper right, which I assume would be left alone if we took it, and we need the gas. So let's go ahead and take this. Next white attack is attacking my ally, which is fine. Again, I feel like my Zerg allies are doing very, very little, unfortunately. Okay, let's attack down this side. It's a nice little base to take over here that I didn't really notice. The fact that red didn't pull any units from any other side of the map to me means they most likely... They most likely don't have another base, because normally they would send everything from every other section of the map 
to defend when their buildings come under attack, so. Okay, is this done? That's good, so let's go ahead and set this up. We lost a bunch of those probes, which freed up a lot of supply, admittedly. Okay, old guy, we're coming for you. Haven't found a different one of you, if there is another one of you. So who's left? We've got... Yellow, which actually looks like they're not rebuilding this stuff. We pulled away a lot of that anti-air, so that's good. All right, old guy. The Twilight Tile Set is the most confounding doodads I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, just look at this contraption next to me. What is that supposed to be? Them Blizzard folks are messed up, if you ask me. Only a twisted mind could ever think of something like that. <laughs> Either that or they hired Picasso. Thanks, old guy. Is that all you got for us? Was, I, I, was that like a random bug that we could see him in this map? I don't know. All right, we're going for white. We need to get some shuttles because we are going to take Aaron to the Kaderan Crystal here pretty soon. Should I be attacking white or just winning the mission? You decide. <laughs> okay. Uh, still haven't really put much thought into using black sheep wall. Maybe I should just do it. Okay, we need that gas. Really need that gas. We're attacking white. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Here come a bunch of Scourge. Attack the Scourge! Okay, well, the Scourge are getting a little confused. Back... Okay, well, that's fine. It's fine! Got a decent amount of Hydralis coming in. We are killing them piecemeal. We'll move some of these carriers back that are very damaged. Come on over here. Kill some Spore Colonies. Maybe open the way for some of my allies to actually do something this map. Seems like this base has less Scourge, but more Hydralisks. We kill Hydralisks very quickly. I'm more concerned about Scourge because they move really fast. Uh, I don't see a Defiler Mount in this base, which is good. Multiple... That was weird. I mean, there were multiple um, Ultralisk Caverns. Not that that matters, but just kind of strange. A lot of colonies here. Let's just clump up. We are very much ensnared. There we go. We got rid of their main... We just got rid of their main, uh, not, well, no, do they have a hive up here? There, there is a defiler mound. We got rid of one of their hatcheries, not a big deal. Again, I'm sort of blank in here. It's really late, and I'm just, like, getting progressively more tired as I've continued playing. Again, I'm not sure why I, uh, decided to, <laughs> to do this. All right, shuttles don't rally down there. I don't have speed. What is the hotkey for support? It, it's B. It's still B. That's nice. Okay. The hotkeys are just so counterintuitive in this game, I just didn't expect them to be normal for that one, for a robotic support bay. Okay, let's kill this hive. Man, there are just spore colonies everywhere in this base. Surprisingly, I have not lost a single interceptor yet. In any of these attacks, I don't think I've had to rebuild any of the interceptors, which is really cool. Okay, so that's everything here, except this remaining egg. Okay, I will just wipe this base off the map, because white has annoyed me this map. Just a, a ton of colonies. There's that artificial difficulty for you. Eh, well, let's just make them take an extra 20 minutes to beat the map, because they made mass carriers. They're going to win no matter what. They have bases all over the map. But you know what? Fuck them. Make them, uh, make them fight through 40 colonies. Okay. Bob Leveler, I bet that was your exact thought process when you made this. Okay, uh, 10 carriers is enough. I could remake some more. Eh, yeah, let's just make a few more. Two more, to be exact. And let's get shuttle speed. And we'll worry about taking him there later, honestly. This is, uh, it's very dangerous to attack up there. Or it's very dangerous to just send a shuttle up there until we're absolutely ready. There were no lurkers on this map, which I'm very grateful for. I mean, I didn't really attack with ground units. They have patrolling, uh... I just realized they're, they're not guardians. They're flying crabs. Okay, well, let's just auto-attack through this. Maybe we'll lose some interceptors finally here, but let's just auto-attack through this and just kill everything. No problem. And then... We've got this all set up and ready to go. There's some white overlords here. Who cares about them? They can go fuck themselves. I don't... <laughs> Stupid whites destroying my base over here. It's just minding its own business, you jerk. Okay, well, now we've got a bunch of bases, too. This is great. As long as we don't... A oh, we lost an interceptor. As long as we don't accidentally float... And there was a lurker. Speak of the devil! As long as we don't accidentally float our carriers over a spore colony, then it's fine. Because because we're only working with shields for most of our carriers here. 
uh, then it actually is a bit of a concern. We're just gonna clear all this out. Not really sure how we're doing on time here. I think it's been I think it's been about 45 minutes, which is, I suppose with a map with a map this size that is a macro map, I really don't imagine no no matter what the circumstances, I couldn't imagine finishing a a macro map of this of these dimensions in a, a reasonable amount of time, like under under 30 minutes, unless it's like a kill the stasis cell on the opposite side of the map, which you can you know rush with air units or something goofy like that. Okay, hey, mass carriers. You know, I, I always talk about, you know, like, ah, eh, capital ships, don't make mass capital ships. Where's the fun in that? Um, I, I kind of had fun this map. I think this was <laughs> not, it wasn't easy by any means. I had a nice time. Okay, perfect. Still got our observers alive. Random lurkers down here. Let's just get rid of all this stuff. And then Aaron, go ahead and load up. Let's use that black sheep wall. I don't see another old guy. There's, there's nothing else on the map. We've killed literally everything. So let's go ahead and send him down. Let's just go ahead and send him down. A good thing to do is, if you ever want to use a cheat, especially in a custom campaign, which it can be risky, because it can screw up triggering, specifically power overwhelming, is you can save the game and then use it. You can save the game even when it's active, and when, when you reload the game, it will... Uh, when you reload the game, it won't be active anymore. Ah, good. The crystal's in perfect condition. We can now set up the Mega Blaster and prepare for the bombardment of Bobby's world. Cool. That mission was not too bad. The enemy attacks were like nothing at the beginning, which allowed me to get to carriers, and then got pretty hard later. It was kind of hard to keep a defense across the entirety of all my bases, but it didn't matter because we had wiped out red, probably at just the right time. Only 33 in-game minutes. That felt a lot longer than it was. I'm fine with that. All right, this has been Jay Barino. Thank you so much for watching. I'm enjoying this series. It's gotten more challenging, like I said at the beginning, so we'll see. Apparently, uh, the final or the second to last mission is very, very challenging, according to the creator. He told me, I told him, hey, I had problems with don't feed the animals, and he's like, wait for, just wait until you get to one of these later missions, so... I will see, he says tentatively. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.